This is my first Stephen King book. Ah! It's done. Here's the time that I woke up sucking on my uvula. Jan back at it again with another <laughs> What's up? It's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Today I'm reading The Shining. This week I'm reading The Shining. But this morning, what time is it? It's one. Oh my god, it's one o'clock already. I feel like I did nothing. I finished Fable this morning. This was my last read for Winter Ween, or read a book with blue on the cover. Last night was the last day of Winter Ween, but I didn't feel like finishing it last night. I finished the last like 40 pages this morning, and <laughs> I gave it two stars. I'm so sad because my mom got this for me for Halloween, and I'm like obsessed with the cover, and I had it in my like save for later Amazon cart thing for so long. And it's still one of my favorite covers, but the story was just not. Nah. For me. I like the family aspect and all the secrets. Not all the secrets. Some of them were just like, whatever, I didn't care. But some of the secrets and like romance part, I like the way the author writes about love, but also she uses a lot of the same metaphors like a noticeable amount of time. It was kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, two stars. That's all I'm gonna say because this vlog is about the shining. I'm buddy reading this with my friend Michaela. I met her through Instagram because she watched my videos and she like reached out and it was so sweet. But yeah, we decided to buddy read this just randomly. I don't even remember how I brought it up. This is my first Stephen King book, so I figured I would vlog my experience. Because a couple people have told me that I should since it's my first one and it's like iconic, you know? This is also gonna count for my read a 500 plus page book every month. That's one of my 2021 goals. And honestly, I consider this a classic, so that'll count for my read a classic every month as well in 2021. Also, Gabby Rees just freaking commented on my video. I'm guessing she watched the whole thing. But she said, thanks so much for participating like in Winter Ween. And then she was like, I love your energy. And I fangirled a little bit. She also followed me on Instagram and I screamed. That's all I wanted to say. Today, we're gonna go to Best Buy. Oh, I'm at Xavier's by the way. We're in Chicago. There he is. Hello. I have to do work and stuff and then read The Shining. Hopefully like a hundred pages of it today because that's my daily reading goal. Okay, okay, goodbye. Come on in to Best Buy. Going on a trip to get a new SIM card. What? But I was on the phone with Jan. That's me! <laughs> like, have you subscribed yet? Hello? Um, She's so sweet. Lost, and I don't understand why more people don't follow her. Yeah, anyway, same. <laughs> I was on the phone for two hours about books and like what it is to be like a classic or a modern classic, which was a very interesting discussion. Hi. I need to do work, but Katie posted, so obviously she's priority. My iced coffee's good. I ran out of straws. They're all in the sink. Someone needs to do dishes. Oh, who are you talking about? Oh, I didn't even update. I read the first two chapters of The Shining. I had to mark all the characters that were mentioned and then I have an orange tab for what? Oh, for funny. I laughed at one point. But yeah, I was already confused. I looked up like two, three words. I do have the audiobook from Libby. So if I struggle too hard, then I can follow along and do that thing. I think Gabby Reed posted her video too. So, oh great. I'm not doing work for another 48 minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> It's not recording. There we go. My ready for this. This is S'mores. <laughs> I've been friends with him since I was like 16. Hello, reunited. <laughs> How old are you now? Like 30? Yeah. <laughs> I have been way too social lately. I don't know who I am. I just had two video calls <laughs> with friends. I had one with Jenny, and you guys saw Samir. I forgot to make Jenny say hi. More social than me. 
I don't know who I am. I don't know. I'm like drained when I'm social. It was a fun time, but I haven't read much today. And Xavier's washing dishes. That's what that sound is. I'm still only on page 21. So I'm gonna try to read another like 40 pages tonight, but it's like 11 p.m. I've been editing my winter ween video part two. So check that out if you haven't already. I'm tired. I'm like delirious. I will update y'all tomorrow. Toodaloo. Good night. Later, Tato. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. It's like 2.30. I think I'm almost on page 100 of The Shining, but right now I'm about to talk to my cousin from California. Her name's EJ. She's trying to figure out my FaceTime on my laptop because I don't have an iPhone. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> Say hi to my vlog, motherfucker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So talking to EJ was fun. I just got to the part where we find out what The Shining actually is. And I like it so far. Ugh, I can't get over it. the amount of flop this book has. I really like that it's told from the perspective of Danny and he's five years old. All the orange tabs are parts that made me laugh, so it does have some humor in it, mostly because it's from the perspective of a five-year-old. Uh, I guess we'll go over my tabs for now. So like I said, orange is the funny parts, yellow is the characters, I mentioned that yesterday I think. Purple is for like, quotes I like and stuff I think. And then green is like kind of crucial parts of the story. That's that. I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna try to get to page 200 today. I really want to finish this by Friday or Saturday because next week I'm gonna be filming my Beauty and the Beast vlog which I'm so excited about. I've been anticipating that vlog that week of reading Beauty and the Beast retellings and watching the movies since like Christmas so maybe even before then. Definitely before then when I got my dual pack of Beauty and the Beast movies the animated and the live action from Xavier for Christmas. So it's been a long time coming for that. Okay, I've talked about this in previous vlogs, but I hate when children can like see things and hear things that no one else can. It just creeps me out. Or like when children are just like giggling in movies or just standing there staring at the wall. I don't know, children are creepy. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of it in The Shining. There's already one thing happening. I might start doing the audiobook following along thing at the same time because it's starting to delve deeper into it and I want to like get lost in the story instead of like having to think, you know what I mean? But also, wow, that didn't make sense. I need food in my system. I'm gonna go. Hello. Oh. Oh, is this the entrance? Okay. Mmm. I don't even know how to start. Fucking latte just followed me on Instagram. I don't think that's a <laughs> Olivia reads a latte. I'm fangirling hard as fuck. I'm so shook. Stop. <sighs> Xavier was in the bathroom and I literally screamed. I was like, shut the fuck up. Oh my god, if she sees this, I'm gonna be kind of embarrassed, but also you're a queen. Love you. <laughs> Stop. That's Oh, today's such a good day. Hello. I love life. Oh, she followed Katie too! Oh my god. Eee! That's so cool. Okay, that's all. Xavier and I are gonna read now. Good night. Good morning. Isn't the sweater cute? Xavier's gonna wear his matching one. I got this from Goodwill. It's cozy, it's cute. He has a very similar one and I'm excited to match with him today. I don't have makeup on yet. I'm about to make some coffee and I thought I'd talk about the shining. And by make some coffee, I mean like pouring and mixing. <laughs> We're not fancy in this household. Well, Xavier is. Xavier has like all you guys want to see his like coffee collection here so he has like an electric kettle a chemex that burr grinder thing I'm giving him an aeropress for his birthday i ordered it last night i stayed up till like 2 30 reading the shining because i couldn't sleep and then i slept in well i woke up i got up at six with xavier and then i slept again at like nine until 11. <laughs> anyway the shining i am on page 248 i'm liking it so far still i find that i don't really like the parts that aren't from Danny's perspective. Like, I think it's entertaining to read from a five-year-old's perspective, especially cause like when he doesn't understand something that's like, you know, adult, like I don't wanna spoil any
anything but it's like doesn't understand like adult jokes obviously and it's just funny how he like interprets things things did get a little creepy <laughs> during my reading last night and i was kind of tempted to stop reading <laughs> but i pushed through not much has happened besides those you little almost creepy parts oh hold on no there was a bathroom scene and if you know me you know i hate bathroom scenes i'm scarred from that movie gothica i don't know if you've ever heard of it but i watched it when i was like 10 and <laughs> it scarred me for life like after i watched that movie i didn't take a shower or i didn't i didn't take a shower I took showers. I didn't close the door while I took showers, peed, anything, because I was terrified of the bathroom. I would just tell my family to like not walk by because I'm taking a shower, but I'd leave the door wide ass open because I'd be so scared. And there was a bathroom scene, and not only was it a bathroom scene, but also Danny was seeing some shit, and y'all know how I feel about little kids seeing and hearing things. Not about that life. Hello, Xavier. Hey. Yeah, put on your matching sweater. So that part was just like, oh, hell no, hell no, absolutely the fuck not. And Xavier was like, what? It was like, it's a bathroom scene and this kid is seeing shit. That was like the extent of my freakouts. Damn, this is already four minutes. Wow, okay. Okay, that like exploded. He's not even paying attention to me. He's used to me making messes all the time. Oh, I gotta find my straws. I've been just doing some work and like I'm alternating between working and editing my third winter ween video and then we're going back to my place tonight we're back to slow internet so I'm not gonna be as excited for the uploading process obviously I'm still gonna upload but okay it's five minutes now we're gonna go cheers okay I'm just here to unbox I don't feel very well my head hurts and my stomach hurts I got a package and I had a five dollar reward for PacSun and I saw the shirt for five dollars <laughs> it says good witch look <laughs> how cute oh, I hate myself oh I'm definitely cropping this cuz why wouldn't I <laughs> she's so cute look at this I'm probably not gonna update anymore tonight it's Xavier's birthday tomorrow so you're gonna see all that and i'm gonna end this for tonight good night i almost forgot i was vlogging good morning it's like 11 a.m i'm at the grocery store right now i gotta get cranberry juice if you know you know gotta take care of a situation and xavier wants one of those scrub daddy things so why is the lighting so weird hello why am i like red weird whatever it's xavier's birthday and i left him in my apartment because i gotta do this and then i gotta go to my parents house pick up some amazon packages that came while i was in chicago to know oh god there's a man walking in front of me seeing what i'm doing oh my god he was looking at like the little berries on my thing i think i'm like way too far in this parking spot yeah i got a car wash and those like berry things that i told you like the squirrels always drop on my car probably not in this vlog in previous vlogs the car wash did nothing to get that off so i'm like tonight xavier and i are gonna go get some food from this place he wants to go to get his free drink from starbucks go to this local donut shop to get this like red velvet puff thing that he's been wanting to try and then we'll probably just chill and watch a movie or something and then on saturday my family is gonna throw him something because his family is in georgia and indiana so we ought to be his family over here damn it feels like i've been talking for a lot longer than less than two minutes anyway i'm gonna go to this grocery store and get my get my stuff oh wait hold on i'm halfway through the shining and there's a scary part when danny goes into the dreaded room 217 or whatever that's that's like on the cover and it's like the room not to go into you know and he goes in of course he does and he uh sees things and it was scary and now i'm on part four and that was how part three ended and I was like, oh hell no. So those are my thoughts on that. I'm back, I'm done. Sanitize. I used a plastic bag because I was embarrassed. <laughs> oh God. Ah! This is the first time she fell. Oh. I got a new camera for Christmas. I don't think I mentioned it in this video, but oh my God, are you okay? No, that's not okay. Got my big thing of cranberry juice. Got a scrub mommy instead of a scrub daddy. He best be fine with that. And then I bought two loofahs for us because he doesn't have one at his apartment. So that's the little haul. I'm gonna go to my parents now and do a little unboxing there with all my Amazon stuff. I can't believe I dropped my camera, I'm so sad. Why are you yelling at me? Stop yelling, baby. <laughs> Unboxing time!
stickers. It's for my journal. I can't believe they just big, huge package. They're all like black and white. Oh, there's so many. I think there's like 160 pieces or something. But they're like skeletons and moons and let's let's go through a pack. Because I'm trying to use more stickers in my bullet journal and reading journals. So oh, there's so many. Look. Pretty. Oh, there's like a light bulb with flower. Mmm, wow. Ooh, like a crystal ball situation. And black cats. <laughs> the Grim Reaper. Oh, we thriving. Party heart. And it's like a skeleton. <laughs> dead inside. That one's a mood. What does this one say? Your father is dead and my pot roast is ruined. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Roses and eyes and ooh. Stop judging me. They care about this stuff, I promise. Sorry about the TV in the background. That's my grandpa. He's hard of hearing. <laughs> what is that? I don't eat red meat. Remember? I don't eat beef and Oh, washi tape. I forgot I bought this. I got washi tape for my journal too. Here. Ooh, it's such pretty packaging. Oh, hello. Like, ah, oh, yeah. It's like celestial and blacks and golds and zodiac constellations, like astrology stuff. We love that. And it's in this cute little box. And then the last thing, my belly button rings. I keep losing them and I have been in desperate need of more. So I bought like a pack of six or something and I bought this pack solely because of this one. Look at that snake. We love a good snake. I don't know how annoying that'll be when I actually put it on, but it's got a bunch of rose gold ones. Ooh, that one's pretty. There we go. That's the haul. We put it all in this big package to make use of it, you know? My hair's atrocious right now, sorry. ready to kill people. <laughs> Excuse my pineapple looking ass, but Xavier and I are about to go on a hunt for his freaking birthday present because Amazon said they handed it directly to someone. Check my leasing office, not there. Check my package room, not there. Check my mailbox, not there. So <laughs> we're gonna check all the other apartment buildings and see because it's his coffee thing and he wants to make coffee, am I right? Yeah. Happy birthday. Hello. Okay, I keep forgetting to mention, I really don't like these like parenthetical parts. You've read this, you know what I'm talking about? Are all Stephen King books like that? I don't think so, right? I hope not, because then I probably wouldn't read another Stephen King. The line would end, but there'd be no period, and then it'd be like a bunch of parenthetical information, dialogue or whatever. I kind of get it, but like also, it's annoying to read, you know? We couldn't find Xavier's Amazon package, by the way, but Amazon says that like sometimes the delivery thing gets posted early or whatever, which is stupid. Hopefully that comes in within the next day or two. I'm just gonna keep reading for another couple chapters. I have a meeting at three and then we're gonna do all the birthday things, go to Starbucks and I'll brush that. my hair. Anyone else not brush their hair for like three days straight? <laughs> this is the look. Just chilling in lips. Look at his cute sweater. Aww. Whoa. One time for the birthday bit. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, you got my puff. All right. <laughs> do a taste test, shall we? Cheers. Or better be worth six dollars. Yeah? Oh yeah. That's solid. I got me a vanilla long john. I wonder how much I paid for this because she was like, both of them are gonna be a little extra. I should have got my receipt. Now we're gonna get some alcohol potentially and then get Din Din. Ordered chicken parm and he ordered a steak. And then we'll read a little bit later because I still have about 70 pages of my 100 pages of the day. Can you hear the rain? Cause we can. It's very rainy today. Later Tata. One time for the birthday, dude. Hey, wait, time wait, for the birthday. Wait. Everyone say happy birthday Xavier in the comments. Happy birthday, thank you. <laughs> How you liking Benny's? This place is amazing. <laughs> He's so enthralled. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I guess Jan's drinking tonight. Yeah. Look, I found Van Gogh double espresso. I've never seen this before. Naturally infused espresso flavored vodka. I'm scared. Xavier's like, you should probably read before you take any alcohol. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm on page 337. I started on 310. Damn, I have a lot more than I thought. <laughs> ah, I haven't read much today. Now we're gonna eat some din din. <laughs> 
y'all are wondering why there are fucking tears in my eyes, Xavier said he'll tell the story again for y'all. So here we go. Alright, so here's the time that I woke up sucking on my uvula. If you don't know, your uvula is the punching bag in the back of your throat. I woke up, I was like doing something, I was like... <laughs> Like sucking on something. I thought someone was in my mouth. I was like half asleep. I was just groggy. I woke up and I was like still sucking on this thing. And I don't know. I don't know what it was. It started to hurt. So like what I was sucking on hurt. I was like, how do I feel this? What the heck is this? I thought it was like my tongue. I thought it was my gum. I don't know what it was. And so I realized it was my uvula because when I stopped sucking on it, it like swung back in the back of my throat and I gagged. So I get up and I, I coughed and it swung up at the top of my mouth, came back, hit my back of my throat and I gagged again. What the hell? So I go into the bathroom and I look back there. I'm like, <laughs> this thing is like enlarged and super slow because I've been sucking on it for three hours or something. And <laughs> so I like, I like cough, like, you know, like, ah, <laughs> uh, it swung in the room of my mouth, hit the back of my throat. <laughs> It did it again in the back of the I was like, hold on, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. So I like shimmied it back down. And I was like, what in the hell? And so I like tried to like drink like cool water to like cool the inflammation. And it just was not working. But yeah, and about a year ago, I woke up sucking on my uvula. You forgot the part about it resting on your tongue. Oh yeah, that was the greatest part. Because it just rested on my tongue because it was so dry that it sucked like everything out of it. <laughs> and so and I coughed and it just like laid on my tongue and so that was why I had to shimmy it back down to go back and so I was like uh. <laughs> Is that normal? Comment down below. <laughs> Have you ever heard It's definitely something? not normal. I've never heard anything like it. That's unbelievable. I don't know why it came to mind. Because he has a lettuce stuck in his throat. Oh, yeah. Gosh. He was in the bathroom. He's like, babe, I was wrist deep into my mouth. <laughs> my fingers were vertically in my mouth. What in the world? I don't know what's going on. We are stone cold sober right now. We should probably change that. Look how cute this bottle is. And then, oh, with the starry night Van Gogh. Oh, 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 it's a vibe. I still gotta read. Holy shit. Hi. Xavier's telling me about how much he loves his book. Yeah, it's awful. I have started to listen to the audiobook whilst Worst. reading physically. Mm -hmm. Is it whilst or whilst? It's definitely whilst. Joel from Fictional Fates can attest to that. And he's actually British. Anyway, <laughs> this is almost Not halfway really. over. So let's see how concentrated Jan can be in this novel. I hate the smell of red wine. Anyone I'm else? all booked up right now. I gave him that bookmark. Cheers. Cheers, hey. Yeah. Here, hey, just, cheers, hey. Just... Hey, hey, you too. I hope you got something in your hand. Cheers. Mmm. It's honestly really good. Smooth as butter. It's just, I haven't drank in a while. But it literally tastes like coffee. Mm -hmm. With like a kick, you know? I think that's enough for me yeah. tonight. I agree. Yeah. I'm getting hot. Okay. Good morning! I found his present! <laughs> so happy! Happy birthday! Thank you! Another freaking unboxing because Jan can't be tamed. Oh, did you see my address? Hope not. Ah, yes. More stuff I didn't need. But okay, I've been wanting this for like months, but it couldn't justify paying the full price. And everything was 50% off, okay? And I finally got it. It's a Beauty and the Beast freaking book sleeve. It's mini, so I don't know what I could fit in here. Like, I don't own a Kindle. So, very small paperbacks. But it's cute, and I'm glad I have it. I also got this one that says the bibliophile, because it's cute, and that's what I am, a bibliophile. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I've been eyeing this for so long. Like, literally, it keeps, like, popping up on my Instagram feed, and I keep saving it. I probably saved it about three times, maybe four, and I finally bought it, because it was 50% off. I'm going to test it. Okay, the shining's definitely not going to fit in there, obviously. He's a thick boy. Starfish question mark? Oh fuck. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna fit in here. That's the haul of the day. Yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie as yesterday, but I'm gonna change soon. My tier ranking video is currently uploading. It's been uploading for the past like two hours and it's only at 17%.
Y'all know how I love my squirrels. Okay, look, there's two of them. There's two of them today. They're just eating the little berries. So how cute. Okay, I'm done. I'm losing my mind. We've just been working pretty much all day. It's like 2.30 now. This tier ranking video is only at 50%. I've been uploading since 10 a.m. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna take a break and read more of The Shining. I read a little bit while I was eating, so now I'm on page 438. So I have like 220 more pages. Really wanna finish it today because Kiara Foster and Soleil are hosting a rest and reset readathon this weekend. And it's like a cute little cozy readathon with like self care prompts and stuff. And I wanna do a separate vlog on that. So I'm gonna try my best to read 220 more pages today. I'll have to do a few more things but audiobook while following along is really helping. I just want this tier ranking video to go up. I need people to watch it because I'm gonna be upset if it doesn't do well because it took so long to create and edit and... <sighs> Ooh, 51%, yay. I need coffee, so cue coffee clip. Cozy Sherpa hoodie because Xavier is craving bubble tea. Oh, I talked to my friend Laura on video chat and I forgot to make her say hi again because I'm I just I forgot. Hi. She was peeling oranges the whole time. <laughs> she had like a five pound bag. And anyway, I'm on page 527, chapter 45, feeling like a DNF. I'm just kidding. <laughs> feeling like a three star max. I just cannot with his like little sexual innuendos that he's writing through Danny, through this freaking five year old. Like that just makes me so uncomfortable. The N word is said in this a few times and I get this is like an old book, but like mm -hmm. parenthetical information, I still can't. I just, everything's so confusing. Like once you throw in parentheses there that like come from who knows what perspective, that's when you lose me, Mr. Steven. At this point, I'm just reading it because I'm so far in far I'm in too deep is what I'm trying to say I'm still doing the whole audiobook while following along thing and I'm probably gonna do that all the way till the end because I'm over it and if I don't do that I'm not gonna be able to focus even more and he just looks so creepy back here I just can't I was talking to Michaela the girl I'm buddy reading this book with about it and we're both like we're not reading Stephen King for a long time after this Ugh. why did I do this to myself anywho we're gonna go because the work day is over in it um, for the time being. well for me it is because i got my shit done i got my to-do list done i got my video up my tier ranking video it took seven hours to upload it took like two days to edit so please watch it <laughs> i beg you <laughs> i usually don't beg but this time i'm begging because it was a pain in the ass we're going to skedaddle now that's xavier uh, he's 23 now uh, this was his birthday yesterday Hi. Did I already say that I found his birthday present? I think I did. He loves it. Approximately three times already today. Oh shit, yeah. He's already made three cups of coffee with his little AeroPress thing. Don't ask me what it is. I just, I just do the buying, you know? Okay, goodbye. We're here like once a week. Do what we gotta do to stay winning, winning. Fussing the fights, we'll keep and trust. And you mean you want to say. I just want this vlog to end too. I know. I know. It's freaking endless and it's not gonna end till this book ends, so we're gonna finish it. Do it. I have 124 pages left. Jesus fucking Christ. How long are you gonna read for? I don't know. <laughs> and then he's gonna make some hot cocoa. Yeah, hot cocoa. Hot chocolate. Okay, we're gonna read now. Okay! Okay! Let's see if he passes the test. Hey honey, when was the- <laughs> When did I wear this hoodie? <laughs> 
That was when we first met, the first day we ever met, 2018. <laughs> well, when we met a year ago again, I was like, yeah, I even remember what I remember what you wore the first night, and she was like, shut up, no, you didn't. I was like, yeah, I did. He goes, okay, what I wear, and I started like telling her exactly what she wore, and she like flipped out. I I was shook. He was like, yeah, I was like, I followed you on Instagram, and I was like, still kind of thinking about you, and I was like, confused why you didn't follow me back, and I was like, bullshit. And he's like, I know what you wore, and I was like. <laughs> If you haven't seen our get to know us video, we talk about it in depth. So I will link that down below. It's on our, our channel. What'd you make, love? I made some hot chocolate from Swiss Miss and Hershey Kisses. And I made some coffee in this AeroPress that she bought me. And so I'm gonna do a, a, a mocha. If you don't know, mocha is espresso with chocolate. So white mocha is espresso with white chocolate. Very good. Okay, you can keep listening to your thing. I'm gonna update them. We are speeding through this book. I'm listening at like 2.7 speed because I need this to be over. 59 pages left. I'm thinking two stars, but it might get bumped to a three if the ending redeems itself, if I think about it a little bit more. I did have a lot of visceral reactions and that usually gives a book higher ratings, but am I seeing double? Oh no, it was just like the shine of the, okay. Really want to give it a three because even though it's feeling more like a two, I read a 659 page book. Like, I did like that it was from the perspective of Danny, like I said, probably a million times now. So that could also be a three. But yeah, Michaela and I are gonna e-meet <laughs> through video chat for the first time once she finishes the book. She has like a big girl job, so she has less time than me. So I'm just gonna wait for her to finish and then we'll video chat. I probably won't vlog it because I wanna end the vlog. Oh my God, my bubble tea almost fell. <laughs> I need to end this vlog tonight for real. I'll update you when it's all over. Hopefully it'll be my last clip of the night and of this vlog. Xavier wants to color and watch a show later. So we started this show called Suits. You can come in. Are you knocking? Oh. I have to try this. Let me try it on camera. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Yeah. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah. Put marshmallows in it. Don't put whipped cream. Yeah, whipped cream. You gotta tell them your recipe. Maybe it'll go viral like that oat milk latte Olivia Reza latte shared. Sorry, resume. Oh, I was just telling them about Suits. We started the show called Suits and I thought it was gonna be boring as fuck and action packed and like about investment shit, but it was actually funny. It was good. It's not like a comedy. It's not like The Office. Okay, The Office isn't funny to me, but like it's not. It's like an office setting, but it's not The Office. Uh, it was a good show, okay? So we're gonna finish the episode. It's on Amazon Prime. I'm gonna stop talking so I can finish this damn book. <sighs> it's done. We did it. I think I'm gonna give it... Ah, oh, the epilogue was pretty good though. Let's go with three stars. I really liked Halloran and his relationship with Danny. He's just such a good friend to him. All his like advice at the, in the epilogue, like it was good. But contrary to what the tabs make it seem like, I didn't like this as much as I wanted to, but I wasn't expecting to like buy star love it whatever i'm sorry to disappoint all you stephen king lovers i still do want to read pet cemetery misery and i own 11 63 but definitely not gonna read stephen king until like <laughs> october probably because i need a break this was a lot I feel like I should say more, but I don't really have any other thoughts. <laughs> I just, I'm glad it's over. The audiobook was good. It was honestly scarier with the audiobook because the dude's voice, when things were happening to certain characters, was just like extra creepy. I don't know. And like his voice for Danny's little imaginary friend, Tony, oof, that was creepy too. It was a lot. There was a lot. I didn't really like the ending. I liked the epilogue more than the ending. I usually like epilogues though, so that was no surprise. I think that's all I gotta say three stars. I'm glad I read my first Stephen King book. Thank you so much for watching. Hope y'all have a great day. Stay safe and stay positive always, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!